Folks, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks for joining me again today. And for today's watercolour, I thought I'd just do a, 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 just a simple winter snow scene, and I've just kept it as loose as I possibly can. There's no fussing around with detail or any of that rubbish. So let me show the colours I've used. So the palette for this one, I just used ultramarine, Payne's grey, and burnt umber. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? Just those, just those three colours. 99% of it done with the large Ron Ranson Hake brush and then it's got a couple of riggers, a number three and a size zero. Right, let's give it a, just a quick lubrication with some water just to stop it giving all crinkly. Then the first thing I'm going to do is pop in the sky which is going to be a bit of a Payne's grey, burnt umber, ultramarine. It's going to come at a, like a, a bit of an angle. Same colours again. I'll dry that first actually. Let's just get rid of that. I'll scuff it up a little bit. No, I won't dry it, I'll uh, just put it on extra, extra strong I think. So, brown, blue, bit of black, not black, pine is grey. We'll have a few trees over there. Now, I want to scrape a building into one of these, so I want it nice and dark so the building shows up well. So a few more. That one bigger. Don't you don't want them all the same size? Um, I'm just going to stick the odd. Well, I'm sure it well because it's, it's the paper's still a little bit wet. So, but I'm going to just pop a few um, lone trees and things growing up there. Lost all the leaves and whatnot. Just things growing in the background. Just just adds little bits of interest. Scrape the odd little thing there with your fingernail. I'm going to take a piece of card, I'm going to have a build in there, let's just scrape that roof in. Still a bit wet, probably best to wait till this is dry, a little bit drier, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it anyway. A few fence posts. have a smaller one next to it like a little shed or something a few random details and have something there as well with a little house a little cabin or something a few fence posts just scrape things in have something next to it as well a little one pop in a little chimney as well if you want Let's have three there. More blue in there. A little bit darker. A bit of brown. And I'm just going to dab. Just the odd little thing here and there, not too much because I want this all white snow. I'm just going to get my finger in there and just scuff it up. Just mess it all up. Back to the little brush and I'm just going to stick a few little posts there as well. Lines here and there. 
Right then, now coming down, <coughs> the path sort of, and don't be don't be afraid of just just whacking it in. Um, the looser you, the looser you are, the, the better it looks really. And that path, it's just going up there like that towards the uh, little, what's it, little cabin. And the path, it sort of comes down this way, right over this side. Just whack it in. Don't mess about with it. Little rig of brush, man. There's little, little tufts of grass here and there, just about seeing through the snow. Little things there. Um, scraping some posts there. is pretty well sprayed about so I'm just not massively wooded where the, where the stroke lands as long as it's there or thereabouts it doesn't really make make that much difference you know I mean, nature just grows wherever it wants to grow don't worry about it just nice and loose keep it all fuss free Finger in there, just yeah, we now just crash it in. Yeah, that's a good way of doing fence posts. Easy, easy posts. And then you can just paint over whatever you don't like. Just darken some of these areas up there. Paper's dry now, so it's going on a lot stronger. Right, let's get this flat against the board before I go any further. Make it even more looser by just giving it a quick spray with the water. And let's bang some shadows in. That might be slightly too. Oh, let's just try, let's just do it. Um, so you can imagine we've got like shadows just going straight across there, like that.
drawn some shadows off all of these off all these posts. Find where the hedge is rather than the where the, where the, the hedge and the shadow definition. I just want to define it a little bit better. Oh, something like that. Um, where's our little man going to go? Well, he needs to be. You know, so let's make sure that's dry. going to be into that dark section. Um, what I might do is I might just take a little bit of that out. I might need a bigger brush, stronger brush than this. It needs to be dry. Stick our little man in there. So it's going to be something like um, Stick a little dog next to him. Couple of little shadows. Little bird up there. And I'm going to call that one done, I think. Um, Stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. So here we are, all mounted up. So if we go and have a closer look, the sky was just a very simple Payne's grey, uh, burnt umber, and Liz, um, ultramarine, just a sort of very bluey grey wash, really, just a flat wash. And then you can see all the trees using the same colours, and then I've scraped in the buildings. Just using a car, just give it the effect of a snowy roof, and then in front of that, just did a bit of scraping and put the odd fence post in here and there, darken the trees, just add a bit of depth. You see how the, the darker tone appears closer than the, the more faded, lighter tone behind it. A few cluster of three buildings there, and then you can see the posts as well. Little shadows cast off each post just enhances that sense of light coming into the scene, and again, just varied the tones with the trees, dark ones in the foreground. Um, coming through right into the foreground, so just cast a few shadows in the foreground path there. Darken the edges just to differentiate, it was too similar in tone. Um, and in the path, got a few bit, bit more scrape, the odd post here and there, and then the path just leads us up to our little man and dog walking to his little village. 
and a few more posts on this side again see little shadows and they sort of go up and down as they go over the land the land it's never perfectly flat so you get a lot of little ups and downs and whatnot amongst the shadows um, I mean the buildings you can see all I've done is done a roof the rest of it is just left up to the eye it's just, it's just the viewer's imagination fills the rest in same with these ones on this side it might look complicated but it's just three roofs that's it so hope you enjoy that thanks as always for your support especially the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crane do join me over on there if you get the opportunity it'd be very much appreciated so until next time keep practicing if you've got any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.